Hi folks, my name is Chris and welcome to the Benchtop Micro Shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm adding dust collection to my drill press. Uh, drill press is notorious for throwing lots of large chips and uh, making a big mess. So uh, why not control some of that dust at the source? And uh, ultimately my dust collection is going to be plumbed into a shop vac. And uh, if you'd like to see how I do this, go ahead and stick around. So before we get into the build portion of this video, I'm just going to show you really quickly how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a, a homemade blast gate with a piece of inch and a quarter tube and then some kind of wooden clamp here with an arm and a wooden clamp that's going to attach to the uh, column of my drill press. And then this will either be a uh, small piece of one and a quarter, one and eighth or small PVC that I'm going to uh, have that's adjustable up to the drill press. It's as simple as that, so let's get started. What I'm going to make first will be the two clamps. So the first component I'm going to make is the clamp for the column. The column is measuring two and a quarter inches in diameter, which is convenient because I've already made a lot of clamps for the main run of the dust collection, which uses two and a quarter inch OD PVC pipe. So here I'm just going to trace around uh, my clamp and use it as a template. I'll extend the flanges because I'm using a bolt uh, with a star knob. I'll finish up by just cutting it out on the bandsaw. And then let's see, I also need some kind of an arm. Cut that out on the bandsaw. Just draw a better straight line there. So I realized I might have just forgotten to record the whole cutting out of this thing, but uh, all I did was cut out what I drew on the bandsaw. Okay, so I have some uh, tube here that's about an inch and a quarter OD and probably, oh wow, check out all those cobwebs, probably about an inch and an eighth ID, inch and uh, or uh, inch and a sixteenth. Anyhow, I don't want to spend a lot of money on fittings on this, so what I'm going to try to do is make a custom adapter from two inch PVC down to this that's going to clamp onto it. And the way I'm going to do that is by using the heat gun to uh, force this and extrude this into a smaller shape. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Next I'm going to design a little clamp to uh, secure my hose. I want to be able to clamp down on the hose or open it up and allow it to slide forward or backwards. So I think what I'll start out doing is just tracing around it. And 
I'll split it in the middle. Make my normal little flange. Time to cut it out on the bandsaw. I seriously forgot to hit start again. Wow. Well. So here's what we're going for. We got this clamped to the arm, which will allow it to rotate this way. And then this component here is probably going to end up right about in here, like that, which will allow it to rotate like this. Hmm. Now we're going to do it like this. Gonna go like that. Two. So I just scrounged through my parts drawer and I found these two little quarter 20 bolts and these star knobs. So I'm going to use that. So this is going to clamp to the column of the drill press. And uh, I'm going to counter bore one of these. I'll probably have to trim that up a little bit. So that'll clamp there. And then this mount here. Like that. And I'll probably clamp it up here. Like that. And a half inch Forstner bit is exactly the size drill I need to counter sink, to counter bore for the head of this bolt.
all everything. drill press dust collection video thanks for watching as always and um, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos I've got some uh, other dust collection projects uh, in the past and some ones that are upcoming also uh, my uh, benchtop micro shop all of um, the process of me building it is uh, captured on video and it's also for your viewing pleasure and uh, same thing with the tool wall behind me. So uh, there's lots of content there for you to check out. And uh, thanks for watching.